Okay, these two OFM 650S V2s are uh, the very first maiden flight, of course. We are going to test them. And after that, they are going all the way to Mexico. Yay, baby. So uh, this is uh, built for one of our customers, both of them. And uh, to just to give the reference to my customer, I will send as much documentation as possible. But I have marked your radio for each switch I have marked it with the stickers so you will know what switches are doing anyway uh, switch SE is your flight mode switch SC is your IOC and this slider here is your tilt control to control the tilt of the camera switch B is very important when you are flying in any mode maybe GPS position manual or attitude hold mode make sure this switch stays up if you see this angle it's farther from the person who is holding the radio because if this switch is down okay this way if this is down it will activate the return to home feature so the quad will come back uh, a number of customers have crashed their machines because they did not know the switch B was down and they took off in GPS position hold mode keep flying until the quad went crazy because it was getting the RTS signal all the time while they took off in this mode so yes in this way uh, if the switch B is down and you switch to GPS position hold mode it will activate the RTS so remember no matter what keep the switch B up when flying in any mode all right so I'm gonna do the compass calibration and you can see how to do compass calibration. I would highly recommend that you study the DJI NASA user manual, especially, especially how the NASA communicates with the user using the different pattern and different colors of LED, which is right here. At the moment, we are testing with a very big ass battery just for testing purpose, but later we will change the battery to 6S. This is 4S now. All right, now you can see when you power up the machine, your LED is blinking three times in red that means no satellites once the LED stops blinking completely that means you have found all the satellites so you should wait until the LED stops blinking make sure the switch E is in manual mode one time blinking not blinking we have all the satellites now we are uh, the green LED blinks that means it's locking its position the home position now we are good to go for uh, how to say uh, compass calibration let me do it and show you switch E a number of times your LED goes solid orange or certain color all right rotate nice and good 360 degree and the LED changes to green put the head down rotate until LED turns off that's it your compass calibration is done power off wait 5 to 10 seconds power it down again once again make sure you have all the satellites right now we don't have any satellite LED is blinking three times in red Come on, man. Pick up the satellites. One. Okay, we have all the satellites. We are good to fly. Now, your motors will not start, no matter what you do, unless you give the CSC command. Put both the sticks down, both the stick inside to make a V, and your motors should start spinning. See? They will spin on an idle position. Now you can take off. Mode. 
Let's see how good it will hold it. But let me see if it will hold it nice or not. As NASA we to hold. If it is going down, tell me. It's going down very slowly. So I need to put the throttle in the middle. And there goes the other one. That one is rising because of the wind. Yep. Both in angle, okay? Okay. Hold on. It's doing more. Yeah, right? Yep. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> That quad went up. She says, oh, I'm not in the wheel. I go up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shoot me, shoot me. <laughs> All right. Wonderful. So uh, this is how we test. This is how we test. I just activated RTH for that quad and you can see it's rising, it will rise 20 meters and come back. It will try to land as much as possible, as, much, as close as possible to the location. Deviation is very much possible. I hope it will not do like the FYDOS quad who was jumping around. <laughs> okay, I will leave the radio for this quad down here. And I'll fly that quad around. Alright, watch this quad now. I might get a haircut. No, you won't get a haircut. Both quads in here? Yes. Whoa. Super awesome, super awesome. You see the DJI NASA V2 auto return to home position and landing was really sweet, really nice. So, uh, after the quad has landed, put the throttle to zero, switch up, B, RTH up, and put it in any mode, manual or whatever. All right, now let me show you how to take off in GPS position hold mode or manual mode. So when you are taking off in manual mode, you have to always, always give constant input on the cyclic, okay? So once Turn on, it's in manual mode, okay? Increase the throttle. It will actually rise almost straight if there is no wind. Let me try again. Increase the throttle. It should rise. If you have balanced the CG ride with the camera and battery, it should ride straight ahead. But in manual mode, it's very agile, you see? So you have to control really really control and very nice and slow input is a good idea in attitude hold or gps position hold mode takeoff you must make sure you have all the satellites locked put it in a gps position hold mode after you start the motors put the throttle to 50 or 60 percent here we go It will rise, and then you can put the throttle to the, uh, not the zero, put the throttle to the middle, and it will stay there. Depending upon winds, do not try it in the grass, because sometimes in the grass, the legs will get stuck in the grass, and it will flip over. And do not try in very, very high winds. However, you can see, 
that today we have 10 miles per hour gusts and despite of that it can still take off really nice and straight so, so once again I suggest put the throttle to 60 percent it will rise up and then you can move to 50 percent and it will be okay it will stay there then you can reduce the throttle bring it on any level you want put it in the middle put the throttle in the middle and it should stay there fly it around this is a puppy Intelligent orientation control means you can spin and still fly while the quad is spinning. I can still control it, you see? Anywhere I want it to go. That is intelligent orientation control or we call it carefree flying. Okay, so that's it. These two machines are going to Mexico all the way to our customer Juan or Juan. They're going all the way to Mexico and I am hoping and wishing all the best that our customer will make good use of these machines.